Welcome to an Atchman Tournament Report, Crucible 8 GT, Orlando, Florida. Okay, this is my Crucible 8 Army list. I have seven regiments of tunnel slaves, one horde of shock troops with the Brew of Sharpness. Very good unit. Two hordes of blights, one with the Brew of Strength and one with the Potion of the Caterpillar. Also very good units. Three Troops of Claw Shots, three weapons teams, all with the Storm of Lead upgrade. A Blight Lord with Critter's Call and Bane Chant. A Warlock with Bane Chant and the Inspiring Talisman. A Swarm Crier with the Loot of Insatiable Darkness. So this list is uh, seems to be pretty solid. I mean, I've got three units that do Bane Chant in the, uh, in the army. I have uh, three inspiring units. The uh, Blight Lord inspires uh, Blights only. The Warlock inspires anybody, and the Swarm Crier inspires anybody. So, pretty solid with the uh, the leadership ability of this army, and it came in handy a few times in the uh, the games that we played. I've started thinking if I what I would have changed in the list based on. Um, to some of the games I played, I might have dropped the characters for the uh, Demon Spawn just because that would have gave me a big flyer as well. Um, the most easy thing I think I could have done was drop a weapons team, drop a troop of claw shots, drop a, uh, a regiment or two of slaves and get my other unit of uh, shock troops in the game. Uh, I think that that would have helped a little bit because I'm really used to playing with four hordes. Um, even if I'd have just combined uh, two of the slave regiments into a horde, I think it would have helped on the uh, seizing table games and the uh, games like that. So anyway, that's probably the only thing I would change. Uh, really, the, you know, the whole army performed fairly well, I mean, so, with the exception of one game. So uh, we'll just have to uh, play with it some more, see how it goes, see what happens with it in third edition. And... I hope that uh, it stays pretty much intact in that game because, I mean, I've got them all painted. They're all based the same. So I have high hopes that they won't uh, uh, mess with my uh, army too much. Okay, I think I'm going to do this uh, narration just like I did the... Uh, the one for the doubles tournament. I played uh, Rocky Archer. He played Undead. Um, he's a way better player than me, and he had a great army. And uh, my inexperience showed right here. He, I set up to go after his infantry, which is what I'm used to fighting against. And his um, uh, cavalry and his big flying monster basically just caved in my flanks and then pinched me back to the middle. So... Again, my, excuse me, inexperience flying against uh, multiple units of flyers. He had wraiths that killed my uh, uh, claw shots. I mean, armor six, fly, I don't know how you're supposed to hurt them. So uh, anyway, like I said, my inexperience showed. I did manage to kill off his big revenue horde and a couple of other things, but it was just uh, too little too late. Uh, the end of the game. Uh, out of a possible 20 points, I got one point. He had a uh, 19 to one victory, uh, well-deserved. Like I said, he just schooled me in this game. And uh, look, my army does look good on the table dying, so I got to admit that. But uh, like I said, Rocky, great player. Uh, he finished third overall. Um, I, I just didn't know how to deal with his army. And you know, maybe that'll come with practice and uh, playing a few more games against Undead in the future. Uh, the surge got me the you know there was just so much like I said to learn in this game and and, and to be honest I was really just confused the whole time because I didn't know what was hitting me from where and uh, what the result would be and here you could see the death of my uh, crack unit of blights uh, mummies in the front and those nasty vampire cavalry in the flank and uh, it's all over but the crying at this point
Okay, so my second game was against uh, Lamar Eddings. Uh, I had traded him some stuff after the uh, last GT I went to and uh, helped him out with his Abyssal Dwarves. Uh, Lamar plays my friend Ben Bowers all the time. Ben plays Ratkin, so Lamar had a plan for me. And I uh, have to say, I think his plan worked to perfection. You know, this was a, another one of the token grab games. Um, so I pushed everything I could toward the middle uh, trying to grab those tokens. Lamar, he tried to uh, punch through my left flank um, with a couple of his uh, heroes and a, uh, they look like dragon ogres. I'm not exactly sure what they are. I apologize uh, just for my total lack of knowledge of, of abyssal dwarves. And uh, I eventually shot all those guys down, but uh, and protected my flank, which is really the goal uh, on that side. Uh, we had some battles over in the uh, woods on the right-hand side, but I don't really recall what happened there. I think it was where his uh, chaff troops were, and uh, so we had a chaff off, and I'm sure that nothing happened, which is usually the way chaff offs happen. So uh, anyway, like I said, we ended up at the end of the game. Uh, we had... Uh, he grabbed two of the tokens, and I grabbed the big token that was worth two points. And so the game then came down to a perfect draw. We also had a, uh, uh, when we did the battle points of the game, we also lost almost exactly the same amount of troops. So to say it's a perfect draw means it was absolutely a perfect draw. Neither one of us had an advantage of the game. But I think that's because of his uh, knowledge of how to play against Rackin. I mean, it's easy uh, if you're not used to playing against Rack and for them to uh, kind of overwhelm you at times. And, and my lack of knowledge on how to beat Abyssal Dwarves also played into it. But uh, really a great game. It was so tight and so fun. And uh, I was frustrated because I couldn't get into combat. And he was laughing at me because he kept wavering my slaves so that I couldn't get into combat. And I thought that it, was, it was kind of a... Uh, Kind of a funny game in that regard. So, again, kudos to Lamar, and thanks for such a great game. All right, my final game of the uh, uh, first day of the tournament was against Rob Lee and his High Elves. He, unlike most elf armies, only really had one shooting unit, and it was a big horde of archers. Um, this was another token grab game. Uh, this time you had to, you could move the tokens after you got them. So it wasn't just kind of like an objective token grab game. Uh, right off, I jumped on the uh, on one of the tokens and uh, started moving it away with my blights toward the end of the game. Uh, in the middle of the table, I think we tied for a token, or, or I can't really remember. Uh, I, all I do recall is is that I had a uh, unit of uh, slaves that was running off the battlefield with the token, and uh, we wanted to play and finish the game up, and I wish I'd have said no, but I know in my heart that that's not the thing to do. And so uh, he rolled a blizzard on my slaves that were almost off the table, and... Um, rolled boxcars to hit him, and I think he rolled boxcars or 11 to wound him, and it caused him to drop the token. And so, in the end, the end result was uh, a one-to-one -one draw. And uh, again, the uh, loss of the troops was almost uh, no difference at all. So there was no bonus points in this scenario for either one of us as well. All right, so I kind of analyzed all the things I did wrong on the first day. Of course, there was many things. Uh, I think the worst thing I did was jam myself up with my own slaves some of the times and weren't able to uh, to fight the fights I wanted to do. The uh, other thing is, is probably not concentrating my shooting enough in one area, and I hope to rectify that on day two. Um, the last game against Rob, I actually made a essentially a grand battery of my uh, weapons teams and my wizard with the uh, lightning bolt and managed to kill his giant dragon with it and uh, severely harm some of the other units in the game. And so 
uh, that tactic actually worked and, and you would guess duh why wouldn't it work that's like 35 attacks so uh, like I said experimenting with some things uh, some games I think you need to spread out the shooting some games I think you need to keep it tight against the flyers and things that can flank you I think the uh, tight is better in this case um, so like I said learn some lessons uh, I hope to apply them on the next day and I uh, hope that the next day's results pan out um, got to admit I had three really good games to say the first game was just a learning experience and an eye-opener about how powerful undead are uh, Lamar schooled me in the second game but his experience against fighting against Rackin and uh, I have to say Rob I think he got lucky with that blizzard at the very end of the game to, to uh, draw it out on me because the rest of your army was pretty much whipped but uh, hey that's part of the game too so uh, loved it had a good time playing I was feeling a lot better mood we went out and ate some uh, 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 Japanese food that night with a whole bunch of friends and just had a great time